Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. Anyways, on the top left hand side, we're gonna see your Apple logo. Just go all the way to your Apple logo, click on it, you're gonna see these options. Now, before, we used to do all our updates from the App Store. Now, we do Mac OS updates from System Preferences. So, just in case you guys don't see any updates there, they're gonna be under your App Store, alright? So right now we're gonna go into system preferences. From system preferences, down here below, you're gonna see software update, right beside network. So let's click right there. From there, it's just gonna check and check for updates. It should find the latest one, which is this one right here. We can click on more information to see what's going on. But for now, we're gonna click on update now. Once you click on update now, you will see this. Just click on agree on the bottom right hand side and it's gonna download. For the installation process, yes, Mac updates always restart your Mac. So make sure to make a backup of your Mac just in case. It's always good to have that backup if you care about your files. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Don't do a backup. Other than that, I do have a video showing you guys how to set up Time Machine on your Mac. So my Time Machine is up here and it was updated yesterday. Time Machine does back up your entire Mac and that's why you always use Time Machine, which is something already installed on your Mac. It's something that's really great that Mac did with all Macs, even older Macs have Time Machine. So it doesn't matter if you guys have the newest Mac or the oldest, well, not the oldest Mac, but a pretty old Mac, you will see Time Machine right in there because it's something that's already installed, again, in all Macs. And you do need an external hard drive in order to make that backup. Again, I do have a separate video showing you guys how to set up Time Machine and an external hard drive. Other than that, I only recommend that just in case something goes wrong, you do have a backup. Because Time Machine does back up all your apps, all your information from your Mac, which includes your pictures, any documents, and anything like that. Or even if you would like to transfer all your information from one Mac to another, you could do it throughout Time Machine, which makes it really easy as well. Again, I do have a video even showing you guys how to do that as well. Now getting back to this update, well, it's only 3.25 gigs. So it's pretty small. For most of you with okay-ish internet speed, this should only take a couple minutes. Uh, for others who have slower internet speed, sure, three gigs could take an entire day. It really does depend into your internet speed because it is downloading this. So at this point, we can just let it be, let your Mac rest. We will see an Apple logo, a loading bar afterwards. It's just gonna restart and then we're gonna be done with the update. If you guys have a MacBook or a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, any one of those that needs battery life, I would highly suggest hooking it up some electricity and have it charging, even if it's 100%, have it hooked up when you're making any updates. That's just in case. With older Macs, the battery is not 100% there yet. So that means we do need some electricity just in case something goes wrong and it turns off. Because that's exactly what you don't want it to happen. You do not want your Mac to turn off when it's running any updates. When it's um, downloading the update, it's not a big deal if it turns off, but when it's installing the update, that's a big deal. So that's when you don't want it to turn off. Right now it says 15 minutes remaining. Obviously it's not gonna be 15 minutes. We just have to wait for a little bit more. So after just 30, 40 minutes of just about, you will see that your Mac is all up to date. It's just gonna restart. If you guys left it alone, that's fine. You guys would've just seen an Apple logo loading bar. It's just gonna load up all the whole way. And then again, we're just gonna be back into our Mac once again. And that would be it for this update. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.